Hamlin came out and gathered it, gave it to Collier. Got the legs pumping, driving ball to Walters on the chest. Hogan's Hogan. got behind the defence. Should mark, and at some stage, should goal. Reasonable possession gains in his first couple of weeks without hitting the scoreboard. Needs to be accurate here. He is. Fremantle have a goal to match the Giants. It's a one-point ball game. Tucker got it back out. Collier has another chance. Now five. Can he do something? Well, he can. Matera. I'm not sure it was the target, but sneaks in and takes the mark. He's had a pretty good year, Matera. Well, yeah, he's been dangerous for Freo this year. Looks like his, his fitness levels have increased. I'm not sure he worked the house down when he was at the Gold Coast, but uh, a couple of years now at Freo, yep. he certainly, his running capabilities look higher. A bit of a mixed year last year, didn't he, in his first season. 18 games, 13 goals. He's dropped a couple of times, but kicked three two weeks ago against St Kilda, and he has one on the board now. Bad mark by a little fella. Normally, as a key position play, you'd want to steamroll your forward pocket if you ran in front of you like that, Lynchy. But I think he identified that the Fremantle bigs weren't going to get there in time. So Taylor enlists Williams, who goes short to a one on one. That always spells danger. Brayshaw with a wraparound tackle. You heard the call. It was play on. The Dockers pleased to do so. Conker, look at the pace of Suskowski. Great agility and great finish. A sizzler. This is like a rugby league player just taking the hit up there. We'll just in, the center square. The inside pass and yeah. belted through the line, and that uh, was a fantastic conversion. Great speed here. Good pressure. They're holding. The, they're playing most of this game in their forward half, Freo. So it's some really good results, and that's a Wilson trots into the back pocket and gives it plenty. Tabernard again versus Davis. Good early work from Davis. Gee, the slap there as the ball must be right on the microphone. <laughs> Dicko's got his mic out down there, I think. Five. Adventurous handball to Conker. Looked up. He just caught a glimpse of Hogan. Let's not get too carried away. <laughs> his second game at Monica. Kicked two goals when he played there the first time. And he's done that already. He's gone forward to start this second term. The Dockers take a four-point advantage in. Cornelio slipped, so he didn't get onto the footy. Fife does, and the handball is spread wide for Langdon. And here is Hill, bounding off half forward, coming up to win it. And get involved in this chain. As the Dockers get it deep. And it gets all the way to the back. Tabana! That's one way to hit the scoreboard. Kick him from 10 metres out. Great start to the second. Yeah, well read there. Matt Tabernard, his man is Phil Davis. So Phil Davis committed to the aerial contest. Tabernard, smart enough to realise his teammate was going to be in the airs. It was effective enough. As you said, uh, great to see Ross Lyon help Brad Hill get away from the tagger. I love when coaches do that. Yep. Skowski low to the ground and effective. They can't stop him at the moment. He's charging forward. He's receiving the handball. Another entry for the Dockers. And Tabernard again will have him to thank if he can convert. He... Looked up and saw Walters, who was a teasing distance from De Boer. Yeah, great quick ball movement. It's spot on, Brownie, just with that. I, mean, I think one of the key roles of a coach on match day, Lynch, is to help his players, if they're struggling, get them into the game to find them another function. And he edges out and trusts that right boot to put it right through the middle. Two in a row for Matty Tab. A little handoff to Walters. On the turn, right to full forward. Hogan was worried out of it. Matier in the right spot for a little man. Oh. And they're back in front. It's as good a crumbing goal as you'll see, Lynchy. Langdon. Oh, Walter's got the early leap. Oh, he got that. He's no. claiming it. Couldn't see it. Oh, he's paid it. Yep. Yeah. So looked like he'd grabbed it. Here's the early jump from Michael Walters. He graze across the stomach. Sam Reid got it. Yeah. And it's a goal to Walters. In the end, that's all that matters. Quick kick out of there, Cornelio. Marked by Ryan, which is what he does so well. On the far side's the space. That's where the lead comes. Oh. Walters got collected. Yeah, Walters Williams. just put on a bit of a block behind, got taken out. Laying there a pokey little pop-up kick, but... How Walters was afforded that much space, I'll never know. Already with one goal, one under his belt. Would love to strike this sweetly. And he has. They're not going away, the Dockers. He's edged around. Fife, the setup kick. 
Tabernacle lob. Look the most likely. Matera now's the big hope. The big hope. Oh, oh what a goal <laughs> from Brandon Matera. That's how you do it. So two great coming goals. One in the uh, second quarter. This is probably even better, I think. He did enough to get rid of Pierce, didn't he? Mm, just didn't finish off his work. Wilson contains the kick to the defensive 50. Langdon and now Hill. Eyes up into the middle. There's Dockers everywhere. Yeah, got wing. numbers here. Walters. He can kick to the 50 and beyond. Can Hogan get back onto it? No, he can't, but... Oh, Collier was able to capture it just in front of Reed. Travis Collier, former bomber. Big kick this one and a straight kick. Dockers back in front. Great effort by Travis Collier yep. because he knew that uh, probably Hogan had committed his man there. He's getting up, Reed. Now, let's watch Hogan. Stutters his way to 50 and then launches. Oh, oh. from Tabernacle. The proverbial point blank range as Slew Richards used to say, have to fall over to miss this. He didn't fall over and he didn't miss it. <laughs> that's that great. That's, that's a huge, huge mark. And that's a genuine contested grab. When you're in a pack deep, there's Reed just after he's just got himself up after falling over. He's tough. Once he went past. Uh, Giants sense an opportunity. Walters was dancing the other way, though. Side. Brilliant to Wilson. He can carve a kick, which he has. Langdon. He's got Hill on the inside. He could have gone to Cox somewhere in between. Can they sort it out? Hill with a take. Cox doubles back. The kick comes now. Tabernar is looming again. Great spoil back there. I think it was young Haitley who got a fist to it. It was. Free kick. And that's good enough. Four goals for Matera. Docker's lead had extended to 13. Got to see off Ryan. He too goes for Cameron. It's one on one. Tough times for Pierce. Got the spoil. Followed up brilliantly. Has a third go at it. But the prod forward from Daniels changes the dimension of the game straight away. Whitfield's all class. Back to Daniels. Can he get enough on the kick? Busy at the top of the square. Cameron caught one. Alex, Alex no free Pierce kick. Been brilliant today. Two great spoils in the last yeah. 20 seconds. Tabernard at both ends doing it for the Dockers. Cleared the immediate danger. And now Cox getting fancy. Little cute kick in for Tucker. Swiskowski takes the mark. Well held up then. Mundy was running past for the handball receive. Goes left to Cox. Walters comes for the ball and he's got it. And they've got no answers at the moment. That's off to Alex Pierce. He has to be all Australian defender at this stage. Then should we stop the season and pick the side? Alex Pierce has been brilliant. To take the Dockers out to a 19-point lead, which would be their best margin in the game. It rests on the left boot of Michael Walters, and he locked it immediately. Oh. And you can see why it sails right through the middle. So the Giants need to respond instead. The Dockers marching on Fife initially. Now Mundy with a kick and a full stretch. The mark is taken by Hogan. So Jesse Hogan, he loves this spot. Oh. And he loves it even more now. Well, there's been some upsets over the uh, course of the first months of football, and uh, I think Ross Lyon, he's not relaxed, but he's probably more relaxed than he was a half hour ago, but they're converting their opportunities and dominant. Switzkowski gives it plenty. Lob looks for the free and he's going to get it. it. Yep. Engaged yes. Mummy. Yeah, a tiring Shane Mumford perhaps. He's acquitted himself pretty well today, Rory Lob against Mumford. He has. It's been a good contest. Yeah, I just really he's competed really hard and we you know Mumford, you know, he's a big physical presence but he hasn't been thrown around Rory Lob. There's obviously a fair size difference. Uh, I think he'd be pretty happy with his performance today. Probably could have been overwhelming coming against his old teammate. Four goals, three for the season, Rory Lobb. And this one is oh. working its way back to absolute perfection.